Another great way to learn new things and also remember what you're learning is to teach it to other people. I absolutely love my job. Right now, I'm in the schoolroom, I'm teaching, and I'm teaching you online. It's a, it's a huge double whammy for me here today. I'm on one of my off periods, so I'm able to you know, give you this information. However, teaching is one of the best ways to remember and also learn yourself. And here's why. When you have to teach something to somebody, what you're doing is you're having to retrieve that information, put it through your own mind, and then translate it and give it to somebody else. That takes a lot of brain power, right? Absolutely. And so the more that you're able to do that, say you're able to you know, go through the school day like I do, I teach five sections, and if I teach five sections of the same thing, you better believe that by the time I'm done with the day, I'm an expert on that subject. Say you do that for years and years and years, like some of these teachers do here. Well, that's why they are very, very good at their jobs, because they have the repetition, but they also are retrieving it and are able to translate it in a way that the students are learning. Now, those are the really good teachers, right? You've all had those teachers that kind of just stand up there and read notes. Well, that's not really any retrieval for, from them. They're just, you know, basically copying something and just regurgitating information. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I am talking about, though, is having an understanding and then able to simulate it and also able to translate it to your students. That's very, very effective. It's a great way to learn, and it's also a very good way to remember something. So let me give you another example here. Whenever I learn something new, I really want to just teach it right away because if I don't teach it right away, I know that I'm not going to be able to remember it. I'm not going to be able to learn it the best of my ability. So say I learn something on the news, right? That's really interesting. And I take that information that's be, and that'll be one of the first things that I talk about with my class that day. I will say, hey class, did you hear about such and such on the news? Or did you hear about the sports game? Or did you hear about that crazy event? And what happens is then I begin to learn more about the event through them. And I also am able to teach them about the event because some of those students weren't even aware that that event or that sporting thing or that uh, crazy thing happened last night. So it's a great way to not only learn better yourself, but it's also a great way to remember teach it and teach it right away because if you learn something and then you wait like a week or two to teach it it's just going to not be as good and fresh in your own mind as if you were to learn something and then teach it right away as soon as you could another great example that you could do is say you're not a teacher like me right or maybe you want to become a teacher but you know are still in the process of teaching you can just walk on the side of the street up and down your city and talk to a stranger about something that you learned. Or you can just repeat it to yourself like you were talking to somebody. Now that may seem a little crazy, right? Where you're just talking to nobody. The fact of the matter is one of the best ways to learn is to actually actively go out and teach. And I can hear some of you looking at me and saying, well, I'm not a teacher or I don't know how to teach. Just do your best and try to give the information to the other person in a way that they're able to understand it and give as many details as possible. So I appreciate you learning with me here again today and I encourage you now to take action and go teach others what you've been learning. I've challenged you in this course to pick something that you really want to learn. Now as you begin to learn it, start teaching it to other people. It's going to help you learn more, it's going to help you remember more, and it's just going to really add to the learning process. So thank you again for listening to me today. I appreciate your time, energy, and effort spent in this course, and don't forget, go now and teach it to the world. It will help you, you'll help other people, and it'll be an amazing experience.